My name's Michael Rocker and I'm a farmer. Uh, I live in Walkerman on the Atherton Tablelands, North Queensland. About six years ago I found out about a thing called biochar. The thing that got me interested is that it permanently lifts soil carbon, which is basically the holy grail of agriculture. When you lift your soil carbon content, it reduces the amount of nutrients that leach out into the groundwater and out onto the reef. It makes the, the soil healthier, uh, lifts your soil pH, reduces the amount of soil pathogens. This is a little experiment I like to do just to show people some of the properties of biochar. And what we have here at the moment on this side is three kilos of a red volcanic soil. And you can see that the level of the soil is below halfway on this container. Now this is a red soil that I've applied biochar to to give a 5% soil carbon content. Now it's three kilos as well, but you can see it's, it's well up to the halfway mark. And then this is three kilos of biochar, which actually takes two containers to give the same amount of weight as these. And that's one of the key properties of biochar is that it reduces your soil bulk density and permanently increases your soil carbon levels. This is my third prototype biochar machine. It should make around 680 kilos an hour and it'll be, it would be close to being one of the biggest working biochar machines in Australia when it's finished. Biochar is made by a process called pyrolysis, which is the heating of organic matter up to about 600, 650 degrees Celsius in a limited oxygen environment. Basically, the, the biochar retains all the tiny little tubes that the plants have in them that take the moisture and nutrients to the leaves. And when you make a biochar, it retains that structure. And if you heat it too much, it blows holes in all that structure and it loses a lot of its beneficial properties. It's a sponge for moisture and nutrients and if you put a raw biochar out into the soil it will actually start to absorb the nutrients out of the soil and if you plant a crop in it the, the crop will struggle and compete for the nutrients. So you really need to charge the biochar with nutrients before you put it into the soil. Well the very first trials were just small pot trials and the results were quite surprising, you know. The, the plants grew faster, they came out of the ground quicker, the roots came out of the bottom of the pots faster, they had larger root systems, bigger leaves, and a quite noticeable difference in plant size and health. A lot of people pull up here and say, what, what in the hell are you building here? And I tell them, it's a spaceship. You want to come for a burn or what? <laughs>